Well, morning, morning. It's Saturday. I hope you guys are feeling good, feeling great. Ouch. I hope y'all are feeling good, feeling great. If you're new to the channel, I'm Shanina. Hey, girl. Hey, y'all. Today, I have a um, couple things that I want to get done. So, we're going to attempt to go down the to-do list. I have to get some meat for tomorrow because I'm going to actually cook. I haven't cooked a lot this week. So, I've been doing like quick stuff, chicken nuggets, uh, stuff from my husband's, uh, from where he works at, or not where he works at, but places from in the area of where he work at, because he works at the airport, so. Uh, child pizza, we done had frozen pizza two nights in a row because at Kroger, they are, the Kroger brand is on a weekly deal, or not, is it a weekly deal or is it five-time digital? I think it's a five-time digital. Yeah, five-time digital because I ended up using that same coupon twice. Um, two different days. Pizza, frozen pizza. So, that's what we did. We had that yesterday and the day before. Um, so, that was that. So, I need to get dinner for tomorrow. I had an idea. One of you guys left a suggestion. I thank you for that because I still have a lot of apples. So, I'm going to get some type of pork, maybe some pork chops. I believe they're on sale at Wayfields this week. And so, stop by there. And let's see. What else I need to do? Of course, straighten up the apartment. That's always something that we do over here. Clean and cook. Um, that... Am I going to drop off the stuff from the thrift store today or to the thrift or to the donation box today? I don't know. I found some more items last night um, or yesterday rather to put in there. So slowly building that up. Yesterday was rainy. I'm kind of glad because there's a lot of pollen. And I need to run through a car wash. I need to clean out the inside of the car, vacuum, all of that stuff. Wipe the doors, all the things. I need to do all of that. Am I going to be able to do that today? Who knows, child. I am going to work a small shift today. Just a small one. I need to get an oil change. So... You know, we're going to just do the minimal today. I am going to wear to, oh, that's what I was doing. Got to put on some lotion. <sighs> Time is flying, y'all. Oh my gosh, it's about to be Sunday again. I feel like I, it was just Sunday. I was on the phone with my mom and my brother um, Sunday, and it doesn't feel like that was that long ago. That conversation was funny. They cracked me up, child. Oh, so I'm wearing this oil that I got from the beauty supply store. A while back, it's Chanel number no. five. It don't smell like Chanel number no. five. <laughs> it don't smell like Chanel, or at least to me, it don't. Because I actually have the Chanel number no. five, so it's not. It doesn't quite smell the same, but I still like it. It smells good. So I'm just rubbing that all over me. I'm not gonna spray any perfume on top of it. I've I've had it for I don't know. I don't remember when I got it. I don't know if it's been a couple of weeks or a few weeks, but it's been a little. I've had it for a little bit of time. I like it. But, yeah, just some body oil by the Soul MK Product Ink brand. I have another one of their uh, body oils. Beauty Supply Store. 
Oh, I forgot to put my eyebrows on. Can't forget that. Which I need to do, by the way. So there's definitely going to be some form of self-care in this vlog. You know, just the typical stuff. Work, clean, cook, self-care. Random, you know. I don't think I'm going to go to the Dollar Tree today. I just did a... Uh, like a somewhat of like a collective haul video. So I need to edit that and put that up. I also need to make this uh, other video live today. So when I get back, I'll go ahead and finish that up. Thumbnail and all that. Specifics in the back. <sighs> Office or whatnot, studio or whatever you wanna call it. And then I'll get that one live. So that'll go up today at some point. Let's put on a little bit of mascara. Where's my brush at? I need to brush this little part. I can't wait to wash my hair, y'all. Oh my goodness, my scalp is itchy. And then all this pollen, like every day this week, I feel like I've just been needing to take a shower as soon as I get home because I feel like I'm just layered with pollen. I don't know, it's so weird. It's a lot of it. So I'm kind of glad it rained yesterday. It looked like it's going to rain a little bit today. We'll have to see. I'm really not up for being in the rain today. Yesterday I was kind of, at some point throughout the day, I was kind of over it. I ain't going to lie to y'all. You know, doing Uber Eats is just like having any other job. Some days you just be like, bruh, <laughs> I'm ready to go home. Huh? But you still push through the day because you need the coin, you know? That's how I was feeling yesterday. I was like, man, this traffic for no reason, you know, it's just raining off and on. And it's taking a minute to get to places and taking a minute to leave places. And girl... And when I say leave places, like leave out of their parking lot because it was so crowded, I kept running into those situations yesterday. And there was one situation at a hotel that I think just did it for me, child. I was I was really ready to go home then or come home then. But I kept it pushing. I kept delivering. <sighs> and we survived. All right, shift over. So now we're inside Walmart, not Walmart, Wayfield Food, getting a pack of meat. But so far, I've picked up five items. The rice, it's on sale three for $2, and two two liters for Olivia and her dad. They're on sale five for five. So we're at a park. Olivia wanted to come to a park. Why, I don't know, because there's pollen everywhere. So anyway, so while she's doing that, I'm going to wipe out the inside of my vehicle. And I've got to get some seat covers because the, um, the fabric, the ink from my jacket or whatnot and my pants and stuff. It's coming off. Okay, so 
let's actually do this first so this is the little thing that I was telling y'all about in the Dollar Tree video this is the stuff that I bought for it so this I can't get it off but y'all see how that is so while we're sitting here we're gonna just test this stuff out try to get under the crevices all right so we'll let that do it what it do and From the way field to trash. This is the stuff that I've been using to wipe the seats down with. I'm still working on this. I can't get it open, otherwise, I would switch it out with that uh um what you call it? The awesome stuff from the Dollar Tree. Actually, I'm going to do my back seat first and put all this stuff on the floor. It's not going to hurt nobody. Ain't going to hurt nobody. I needed both of my hands. See, I bought this clean rag to do it. Let me close my front door. Hopefully y'all don't fall. But I've been using this little thing right here. So it's got like napkins, straws. Little McDonald's toys. These I can smell them as I put my nose up to them, but they don't they don't last that long. Okay. <laughs> this is so silly. This is something that I've been putting off for a while. I've been wanting to do this, like, just clean out the inside of this car really good. I would love to start saving for, like, a detail, get it detailed on the inside. But part of the reason, well, not only because I'm, like, super busy these days, but I keep getting told that it's going to get done and it hasn't gotten done yet. I hate when people just say stuff just because it sounds good to them in the moment. That's how you become, when you do stuff like that, after a while you become untrustworthy because you're just talking, you know? So, but I am more than happy to do it on my own. Not a problem. Why? Because we survive, okay? All right, that's looking good. Okay. Now, let's see. 
and I got this from the Dollar Tree Dapple. I also saw it at Target though, so I guess it's a Target brand. But I've only seen it in the baby section with like the diapers and stuff. So I don't know, and it's way more than a dollar twenty-five. I'll tell you that. So if you see it in the Dollar Tree and you want to give it a go, just pick it up, test it out, and then decide if you want to pay full price for the bottle when you don't see it in Dollar Tree anymore. Because I haven't actually seen that brand in Dollar Tree in a while it's one of those brands or one of those items that you got to get when you see it because there's a good chance you may not see it anymore like I'm on the hunt right now for the V Queen V body wash I didn't even know that there was one and they sell those at Target for way more and other stores I came across it on the Walgreens app so that little bar of soap that I bought from Dollar Tree I think it sells for almost five or six bucks at Walgreens if I'm not mistaken that's why I like the Dollar Tree you can find some really good gems at the Dollar Tree you just have to go pretty often that's the thing Dollar Tree is one of them stores that you have to go to all the time in order to all right, that'll do for now. In order to find, like, run a, you know, it broadens your opportunity to run into the good stuff. Or, did I say that right? It creates more opportunity for you to run into the good stuff. Let's put it, uh-oh. Oh, okay, I didn't hear the swing, y'all. Mama Bear was about to come out. I will tease your monkey behind if you mess with my baby okay don't play with it you want to see me get stupid mess with my child you want to see me get ignorant mess with my kid not ignorant ignorant mess with my baby all the intelligence goes out the window <laughs> Ooh, this stuff is coming up pretty good too I bought the yellow the awesome yellow stuff I actually bought that for the carpet and I bought this stuff for the seats because it's it also has antibacterial I think yeah it's also antibacterial so kills 99.9% .9 of germs kills cold and flu viruses so yeah And I try to keep it sanitized in here. I don't smoke in here. You guys, some of y'all know that I do smoke cigarettes. I don't smoke in the car or anything like that. I've done that before. And the smoke smell in the car is hard to get out. Because you'll always smell like the the after smell of it. I don't know. It's weird. So I do. I don't smoke in the car. These little spots on the seat are coming off pretty good. Child, I didn't have drinks spill over and all kind of stuff. That's why I keep a towel on the seat for these orders. Because sometimes this stuff is greasy, you know. I picked up some pizza one time. That's what caused it. That's what started the black towel thing. I picked up some pizza one time. And the guy was such in a rush to put everything in the box. I think he got overwhelmed by the amount of orders. Because he had a bunch of them. And it was just him by himself. And he was rushing to put everything in the box. But he didn't change his gloves. So he had like grease fingerprints all on the box and stuff. Like it was crazy y'all. And when I um. I think I had like three orders. Three different pizza orders. So. When I got them out the car, one of the orders out the car, child, it was grease all on the seat. It was running down the side of the box. It was crazy, y'all. And I was like, oh, heck no. And from then on, 
I started laying a towel down. Now I need to get me a thermal bag to keep the food warm and stuff. I don't have one anymore. It's in the other car. So I've got to get another one. It's just it just hasn't gotten to the top of the to-do list yet. Y'all, I've got so many things I need to do. I'm just taking it day by day and accomplishing or working towards one goal at a time. All right. So sometimes things just take a little bit longer because it's not top priority in, at the moment, you know? So sometimes when y'all hear me say, oh, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. I'm, I plan to do it. It just might take a little minute for me to do it because depending on what all else I got going on, you know? It's hard out here for a pill. I know y'all can't see, but I think we good on this back seat situation. Oh, another car done pulled up. Okay. All right. All right. Back seat looking good. Let me get these doors. So let me switch y'all around so y'all just not staring at the back seat. So now I'm about to hit this little side right here. I wonder if you know what this somebody's calling my phone. What do you want? I don't know you. I get so many scam calls. This is a hot number for scam calls. I don't know what's up with that. And I've had this number for quite a while. And all these extra scam calls didn't really start until like around the pandemic, honestly. So I don't know what that's about. I hear they trying to ban TikTok because of uh, let, they t let them tell it it's for security reasons to protect our privacy. Girl, protect our privacy where? We have no privacy in this country, regardless what app you use it, because every website you go on, it asks you to agree to terms and conditions that say a whole bunch of legal mom Joe, but in a nutshell, basically is saying, hey, you know, can we have access to this, 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 and that? So it's not just TikTok, so I don't know why they, I think it's a control issue. The United States wants to be the only people tracking us, I guess. I don't know. Anyways. It's going to suck for all the people that are on TikTok, though, that are that make a living from the the payouts on TikTok. I don't know how much TikTok pays. I don't even have. I'm not even on there. I just learned that my brother and my mom is on there. But I don't know if they're monetized or not. I'm not sure. But how do you guys feel about that? It, are any of you on TikTok? And do you get paid on TikTok? And if they ban TikTok, is that going to affect, like, your... Your whole household situation. Because for a lot of people, just like YouTube, TikTok is their main stream of income. That's how they take care of their family. Ooh, child. I look crazy. So, you know, how are you guys feeling about that? And then it also makes you wonder, like, okay, is the real reason is that the U.S. wants to ban TikTok is because they can't tax it? Because, I, I mean, it's a China app. It's run by China. So, y'all know how greedy the, the government, the United States is. They want to cut at everything, baby. So, I'm, I'm guessing that could be what the real issue is. It's like, oh, y'all... Our America, you know, our country's using your app, but we don't get a cut of it. We're not getting a cut of the of the the profits. Child. It's all about money. That's what I feel. 
I don't think it has anything to do with security, nothing, because nothing's secure in this country. As much as they would like the, you to think that your information is safe, it's not. It's not. It's not. That's why we have all these things that identify us. Birthdays, socials, you know. Even though I just clank this, I need to sit down so I can wipe the door. Actually, no, I don't. Because then I'll be blocking your view. Uh-oh, are we swung out? You all swung out? You done swinging? You tired? Um. Oh, you came to get your freezy. Are you tired? I was tired before we got here, girl. I told you that. I've been tired all week. Okay. Um, <laughs> What's wrong? You ready to go? Yeah. Okay. Well, let me finish right through the side. And then we'll go ahead and go. How long did I swim for? You know, let's see. How long we've been talking? Almost 15 minutes. Not bad, because that's really all you wanted, right? You weren't trying to stay for hours. At least I hope you wasn't, because that was going to be a nope. We'll come back another day. We'll come back another day. <sighs> Desperado. This towel is probably gonna go in the trash. Why? Well, is it not there? yet? But I'm just saying, once I'm done with it, otherwise it's just gonna. If you wanna be somebody. If you wanna go somewhere, Mom. you better wake up and pay attention. Mom. You don't know nothing about that. You don't know nothing about that. Um. Duh. Of course I don't. Uh. Dang, I uh. forgot the name of the movie. Yeah. Comment below if y'all know the movie. <laughs> There's some Lauren Hill fans. Come on, just go Yep. Yeah. I'm still recording. <laughs> Alright, y'all. That's enough for the chit chat. We're going to go ahead and roll out and I'll see you when we get to the house. Okay, y'all. So, this is what I picked up from Wayfield, which zeroed out our budget for the week. So, our budget for the week was $75. I did buy that frozen pizza I was telling y'all about this morning. And um, also these uh, chicken bites. Because uh, I, I had a craving for some hot wings last night, but I couldn't find any that were reasonably priced. So I ended up buying these breaded chicken bites, um, buffalo, hot buffalo style. So I ended up buying those. So this will complete our uh, budget for the week. So it's Saturday. So I'm thinking about starting on Sundays because a lot of the deals... The only place that really starts their deals in the middle of the week is Kroger. Everybody else starts their deals on Sundays. So, we'll just have to play it by ear, y'all, okay? So, anywho, <laughs> the amount that I spent today at Wayfield Foods was $25 and some change. I would not recommend going to Wayfield Foods for their pantry items unless that's the only store you can get to for groceries, right? I typically go to Kroger. Some items are a little bit cheaper there. For example, the blue bonnet butter. The blue bonnet butter was like one forty, where it's like a dollar. A lot of the times, I can find it for ninety nine cents in other stores. So, you know, it's a little bit more with the with the pantry items, which is why I don't really buy pantry items from there or any other item other than meat. But I literally did not want to go to another store today, y'all. <laughs> okay, I was ready to come home. So. This is what we managed to get. It's for tomorrow for Sunday dinner. I haven't cooked dinner 
in days i've just been i think i told y'all about that this morning girl so i'm not gonna ramble on about that but i got a family size pack of um pork chops the pork chops were on sale this week for 179 a pound so got this pack for 11.22 not bad it'll be split in half i've only i've portioned down my cooking to just cooking for three people now because my bonus baby quay he's not here enough to eat and when he is he's a fast food person okay like he eats takeout pretty much every day so and he's in and out on the go all that stuff so he doesn't really lately hasn't been around for dinner so i've been cooking less so that there's not a lot of waste right okay pork chops 11.22 nice pack there's going to be another apple pie made tomorrow, but I'm not going to leave it in the oven as long as I did. I left the last one in there for 30 minutes by accident because I almost forgot about it. It was only supposed to be in the oven for like, if I'm not mistaken, about 11 to 19 minutes, something like that. I went by instinct on the pie, but I know the crust on the package of the crust, it was saying something like 11 to 19 minutes. But as far as like the inside of it, I didn't follow a recipe. I just went with instinct. I only looked up recipes. Okay, let me mind my business. So... Okay, girl. Okay. I lost my train of thoughts. Um, what was I saying? Girl, anyway, pork chops. So, yeah, the apple pie. So, I almost forgot about it last time. So, that's why it was a little bit on the well done side. And, um, but this time, I'm not going to leave it in there as long. So, that's one of my husband's favorite desserts is apple pies. He has a few desserts that he likes that are his favorites. And so, I am so happy that he liked the apple pie. When I said I was going to make another one, he got a little, you know, he showed some excitement about it. So, yay. I'm going to make another one. Um, oh, that's what I was saying. Girl, I'm distracted. I was saying I really pulled up recipes for the ingredients. <laughs> I didn't necessarily put there because there was so many of them. Right? And I couldn't remember which one I liked the most. So, as far as where I was finding the recipes. So, anyway, I just went with instinct. Okay, back to the haul. Oh, my gosh, y'all. I apologize. That is so ghetto. Oh, I don't know if y'all hear this in the background. Hear what's happening right now outside of my building. Okay, anyway. Three for $2 on the white rice. Let me see. 12 ounces is the net weight. So, is that like about a pound almost, I guess? Maybe not. Okay, anyway pie crust now this pie crust was a few cents cheaper than the croak one i can't remember y'all but i remember reacting in that way when i saw him i was like oh i paid a little bit more for the other pie crust at kroger anyway 99 cents for the trappies bull louisiana hot sauce i got olivia and her dad the crush he likes orange and i just picked up peach because the only other flavors they had were pineapple Excuse me, pineapple and grape, but I don't think anyone likes pineapple. And I know they don't like grapes, so we went with orange and peach. They were five for five, so they weren't up for a dollar. And then these green beans, instead of doing the can or the frozen, I thought we'd go with the fresh this time. Olivia really likes the fresh. And I ain't gonna lie, I do too. Um, $1.98. And just so I make sure I have enough, $1.38 for this smaller uh, pack here. 